I'll be absolutely honest with you. <laughs> I, and I've admired your honesty up until now when you've been talking about the menopause and stuff like that. And, My libido. And I think the male equivalent of that truly is... I can't really put it into words because I get too mortified. Just say it. The male equivalent of the, the of my, the, male, the menopause is is that. Oh, well, I was okay. going to be getting a demo here. Being in your fifties and stuff like that, these things come up. That was the wrong thing to say. <laughs> I remember the first time I ever happened across this wonder drug, Viagra, and it was magic. Although I remember feeling a bit hurt, like, <laughs> oh no, guy doesn't fancy me anymore. And I think women do think that when the Viagra packet comes out and you're like, oh, but actually, getting amongst it. <laughs> I've got plenty to say about this goddamn thing. <laughs> this, this, I, I went to the doctors. I said, hey, doctor, how you doing? I said, so I was, I was having sex last night. And, um, uh, you know, it just it didn't, didn't, didn't. And he went, ah, like that. He knew right away what I was talking about. And I think in that moment, I st stumbled into the great unsaid between men and women. And I'm here to tell you, get the help in hand. <laughs> As long as people don't think we're flipping. Remember years ago, Sting and his wife totally were doing that. Oh. <laughs> we're not that. We're the opposite of that. They were like, breathe. I'm saying go to the chemist and buy a pill. 